Well, nowadays, more consumers are keeping their money in their wallets rather than on their finger, neck, or ears. Jewelry is becoming one of the easiest places to cut back or trade down. News 10's Kate Green joins us now live in the studio with tonight's Economy Watch. Kate? Well, Patrice, with people cutting back, it's forcing diamond mines to cut back as well on its production, forcing hundreds of jewelry stores to make big discounts, cut jobs, or even shut down. But while others are struggling, we found one store right here in Terre Haute shining through the recession. Niles Newton Jewelers may seem like another jewelry store, but they're doing something here they say is keeping sales steady. And each piece has been handcrafted, put together, and this is a bracelet that he designed. Renee Newton says it's custom designing that keeps their customers coming back. We can completely redesign it for you. We can start from scratch and design something for you. Um, and a lot of jewelry stores in the area are not able to do that. And the only cuts this store is making is on repairs. A lot of times when people don't have a lot of extra money to spend, they will have things repaired. They want to keep those things special, so they will do that. Renee says gift sales are slightly down. They'll go to something smaller like one of these. So, but they'll still do something. But people are still buying at something special at a smaller price. They want to adapt and, and you do things that are in that price range. And it's adapting to the economy that allows them to ring in the sales. You learn to move forward and do what you need to do, and that's what's helped us, I think. Now, experts say about 20% more American jewelers will go out of business this year than last year. The Niles Newton jewelers say they're confident that they won't be one of them. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Kate. Major retailers, including Walmart and JCPenney, say jewelry is one of their worst performing items this year.